Hey everybody, Teresa Sigmund here. Thanks so much for joining me for today's blog and I want you to know that you are always in the right place to learn to choose, alter, or make the dance and skate dress of your dreams. Now today's question is posed by one of my Sew Like a Pro members and she says there are hundreds and thousands of design ideas out there. How do I make a decision either for myself or for my daughter without getting so overwhelmed with all the options? That is an awesome, awesome question because it really pertains to all of us that need dresses in the dance and skate world. Because whether you are buying a new dress online or a used dress online or buying one to alter, there is a nearly infinite number of dresses. <laughs> and you can get lost for days and weeks in the internet looking for those dresses. It seems to be a little worse actually if you are making your own dress because making your own dress without knowing really what you want is like trying to buy a house and having no clue what you, know, what you want in a home. So I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite tips that you can utilize right now when you begin your next search for a ready-made dress or for design ideas if you're making your own. The number one option is without a doubt, you have to know what colors look good on you. Now I covered this extensively in a different blog. The links are below for that so you can get further training. But when you know what color looks best on you, what color makes you look youthful, vibrant, what color makes you really stand out in a crowd, once you know that colors, for me, it's somewhere around six or eight colors that I wear all the time. And I don't even look at any other colors. Once you know what colors look good on you and compare that with what looks good in your performance arena, whether it's the rink or the dance floor, then you have narrowed down what is literally 30 or 40 color options to about six. That cuts your choices down significantly. Number two, you have to know what styles look good on you. If you're doing Latin or skate, what length skirt looks good on you? Do you look best in straight skirts or flared skirts that move around a lot? For necklines, do you look good in high necklines, plunging necklines? Do you need sleeves? Do you not need sleeves? Just make a list. I offer a, a significant cheat sheet for my sewing school members just to help keep them on track. But all you have to do is just make a list. And once again, I've done another blog on suggestions for that, on research that you can do. The link is below. So once you know what styles look good on you, you immediately rule out everything else that does not pertain. Number three, when you start doing an internet search, set a timer. <laughs> so when you start looking either for design inspiration ideas or for ready-made dressers, set a timer and give yourself 30 minutes maximum. Because after that, you, your brain gets dead. It's like if you go into a spice store and you smell a whole bunch of spices at once, after five minutes of that, you can't tell pepper from, you know, from black pepper, from cayenne pepper, from cinnamon, because <laughs> your, you know, your nasal passengers are shot. When you're looking online like that, it's very similar. The, br the brain really does get overwhelmed, so set a timer. Number four. Give yourself a finite number of ideas. So once you have chosen, you know, let's say you went online and you picked 20 dresses that you really like and think you might buy, or you have 20 design ideas that you might want to use when you make your own dress. Look at the above criteria, necklines, colors, and go, you know, or skirts. What design styles look good on you and what colors are there? And then judiciously, viciously, without a second thought, go through and eliminate. If you had 20, eliminate down to five at most, preferably three. Don't even say, well, I really like, but maybe not. And it's a really terrible neckline on you. Just don't go there. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. Cut it down to five. Now the exception to that is if you have, if there's like an, an accent flower on one dress that you love, okay, fine. That is an, we'll count that as an accessory or a specialty item, not an overall design. So just sort of, you can keep that as a sixth idea, but put it aside because it doesn't pertain to the entire dress. Lastly, once you have narrowed it down to those five 
choices, <laughs> which was hard to make, I know. Preferably three choices. Stop looking. <laughs> No more. Do not look, do not do any more internet searches, do not look through any more magazine ideas, do not look anymore because then you just confuse the issue. And then set aside, you know, wait three or four or five days or a week and just sort of come back and look at those sketches that you have chosen and then you'll be able to narrow it down to one dress or maybe you'll even decide to combine several dresses together if you're making your own dress. So that is it. That is my five awesome easy tips to not get overwhelmed when choosing or designing a, the dance and skate dress of your dreams. Now, if you found value in today's video, I would love it if you would tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends, because we all want this dress making decision or this dress purchasing decision to be easier. So tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. If you have not already signed up to receive the blog, go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure you never miss one of these blogs. Also, leave a comment below. Tell me what, um, when you had a great idea that worked really well and when you, you know, purchased a dress online that really didn't work. Why didn't it work? What have you learned from this video that will help make your choices simpler next time? And of course, don't forget to check the links below that will take you to the other blogs that tell you both about coloring and style. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you again really soon.